The RV Show USA is brought to you by Rockwood, building better RVs, making smarter RVers. What are dealers experiencing right now, Mark, With in terms of, um, I, I guess they're just having to deal with less parts, um, less inventory, and they're making adjustments too. Yeah, yeah, they are. I think, you know, they, they it appears as though the one thing they don't have is a shortage of customers <laughs> as far as yeah. short, shortages of parts and so on like that, just like it is for us to procure to build the new unit from a parts and service standpoint. Um, you know, I'm sure the aftermarket world is just as challenged, um, but we're, we're doing our best here with parts and service and stuff like that. We're shipping tons of parts every day. Um, we actually do a lot through our parts department of production parts that we pull right from the production line um, to expedite dealers getting parts to take care of customers. We pull them right off the production line and we kind of, kind of, meld that together between production and customer service, but you have to have customer service because those people already have their trailers. They're out there. They're in the camping season and so on like that. Whereas opposed to somebody waiting on their trailer, um, you know, if they wait another week for their trailer, um, they really didn't miss out. But if somebody was missing an awning or a refrigerator or something like that, that was, mm. you know, prohibiting them from going camping, we want to get those people taken care of as well. That sounds like a smart decision. In terms of, uh, I, I don't know, takeaways, lessons learned from this, uh, what do you think? I mean, is there anything positive that has come out of this? I mean, thinking, you know, uh, stocking up on more, more parts or uh, I know that this was uh, unpredictable, but have there been any lessons, you think, any takeaways that are going to come from the whole COVID situation in 2020? I, th I think one of the lessons that, that we should all learn from this and stuff like that um, is, is the ability to be resourceful, to be diversified, to not have all of your eggs in one basket. Um, and, and I've often used the phrase that it's okay if all of your eggs are in one basket as long as you trust who's carrying the basket. But 2020 and COVID has shown us it really doesn't matter who's carrying the basket. When we come up on unprecedented um, demand like this, if you have two or three sources for the same components, you're going to stand a much better chance of succeeding than if you're limited to one. So competition, diversification, and stuff like that uh, certainly goes a long ways, especially in times like this with high demand. I imagine that uh, with all this stuff going on, uh, that prices in the future of RVs across the board are going to have to incrementally go up some amount. There will be some increases in the prices of new RVs and parts in the future. Am I seeing things the way that they're probably going to be or not really? Uh, I'll, be, I'll be surprised if that doesn't happen simply based on supply and demand. Uh, when demand is so great and supply is short, he who has the supply uh, dictates the price. And we're, we're seeing it right now in a lot of the wood commodities, especially, um, you know, home building is, is very good as well as RVs and so on like that. Um, and so demand tends to drive pricing until such time as demand slacks off and pricing slacks off. And like I say, in my years here, I've seen those cycles. So I fully expect there will be some inflationary pricing pressures coming at us. In terms of service, what advice do you have for consumers, maybe especially the, the, the newbie, the first-time RV owner, uh, what can they do now? Because they probably don't want to take their RV back to the shop because the dealers are so backed up. What advice would you give to these RVers uh, to, I, I guess where I'm going with this, is uh, maintenance, maintain your RV. I just wanted to hear it from you. Well, and, and that was exactly where my mind started going when you were asking this. You know, the better you care for your product, whether it's your car, your truck, your RV, or whatever, you know, the more pleasurable experiences you're going to have. But the other thought was to simply communicate. Communicate. If you've got a question, you've got a concern, anything like that, reach out to your dealer. You know, an email, a phone call doesn't take too long um, as opposed to, you know, taking it in for, you know, a couple of days of service or something like that. And it may be something simple. Um, and, and that's my, my motto to our people here all day long, every day. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Those who communicate the best will be the most successful. Um, and, and so to our, to our new owners, to our previous owners and stuff like that, 
feel free to communicate. Um, you're our customers. We're here to help you. That's one of the things I found from the, from the best dealers that are out there is that they believe in effective communication, even if it's not exactly what the customer wants to hear. As long as the customer hears from the dealer, look, it's going to be another week or we've run into a little issue. It's the effective communication that can make the difference between a happy camper and a miserable camper. Yeah. And right now, as, as challenging as it is for us to procure parts and so on like that, that's my message to suppliers. I can handle bad news much better than I can handle no news. Bad news allows me to plan. No news leaves me sitting here wondering, and we can't plan. We're guessing. So, so we just need to communicate, communicate, communicate. I love that. Listen, yeah, this is completely uh, kind of in a different direction. But, you know, if you, if you read much on social media, and I'm there quite often, uh, from time to time I find these posts from people that they just, everything they say about the RVing community is terrible. All the manufacturers are bad. All they care about is making money. They don't care about the consumer. That's got, I mean, they make these all blanket, all-encompassing statements. What does that make you feel like, Mark? You've been in the business 40 years. What do you think when you hear somebody make this general statement and you work at a great company like you do? Well, it, it kind of goes right hand in hand with my, my impression of social media. <laughs> uh, but uh, I, I remember going to lunch, and it's probably been about 20 years ago. I went to lunch with um, two business owners, the one partner um, had that same idea of the RV industry and he really didn't want to go to lunch. Um, and so we went to lunch. He said at the end of the lunch, he said, you know, this has probably been the best lunch I've ever had. And he wasn't talking about the food because he had that perception of our industry. And he said, once he got to meet a couple of us, he said, you know, it just changed his, his mindset 180 degrees. Um, and so that, that's what I would say is I, I realize those kind of opinions are out there. And you're probably hearing them on social media, but you're not hearing them from those who are out there, the happy campers that are enjoying their units and so on like that. Um, there's, there's just, um, there's obviously a lot of happy people RVing, and that's why we're selling as many as we are. Listen, we're going to need to leave it there, but uh, all this, Mark, is very, very interesting and, and great info to know. Thank you so much, okay? Okay, thank you, Alan. Appreciate it. All right, we'll talk again. You know, folks, uh, these Ask the Manufacturer segments, they're designed to help make you a smarter RVer. We are so grateful to the folks at Rockwood Flagstaff for their expert knowledge and all their great advice. If there's something that you would like to hear discussed, maybe a topic you'd like to hear talked about, send us an email or leave us a message on our 24-hour voicemail. You can do that by calling 1-330-WINGMAN. That's 1-330-946-4626. I'm Alan Warren. I am the RV Wingman. Be back right after this. 